Hey everyone, Sandra from So Confident in Dundee here and today uh, we're just doing a quick video to show you how to prep for the memory bear class. So myself and Bob in here will get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is print out your pattern. So you'll have all these pages of A4 here. Um, Melody Memory Bear. And the only one that's actually a little bit tricky is this section here which is the tummy and you'll see that the tummy comes in two parts so you're just going to cut out the small part get a bit of sellotape and stick it along the bottom there so you've got this one big section of tummy and then once you've done that just grab your paper scissors and you're just going to cut out all these pieces on the line and you'll have all your individual bare pieces and then we're ready for the next section so let's talk about your interfacing for a second. Um, you'll want to use a medium weight iron-on interfacing for this. Makes the bear nice and solid. Um, and what we're going to do is draw from our patterns directly on here. And there's a couple of ways to do that. I'll show you in a second. What we want to make sure is that we're not drawing on the gluey side. So I don't know if you can see that there, but one side of your interfacing will have a shimmer to it. And that's the side that's got the glue on it and then the other side will be nice and plain. So we want to draw on the plain side, not the gluey side. And then I'll show you how to get these patterns on now. Now we're ready to take our pattern pieces and put them onto our interfacing. There's a couple of ways you can do this. If you want, you could trace it. So it could still be on the sheet. You don't necessarily have to cut it out. And then you will just draw round the outline here and then put all your markings on so your arrows you can write the name outer arm and um, and all these little marks and notches that are here the way i prefer to do it it just makes it slightly easier is to just use this as a template and trace it so you'll see here it says outer arm cut to one reversed so what I'm going to do is just trace around this. I'm just using a normal biro. Um, this bear isn't going to end up kind of in the wash or anything. So it's absolutely fine to do this with just using a normal pen. So just tracing around the outline of this pattern here. Try and keep it nice and accurate if you can. And then what we need to make sure is all these little markings, so you'll see it on here, all these little lines, we need to transfer them. So that is going to go on our pattern as well. You don't need to worry so much about all these letters because we'll keep you right in class about them. And then I would just pop in the name, so outer arm, that'll keep you right. So that's our first one. Now we need to reverse it. So what I would be doing here is just taking this one flipping it over to this side and then doing the same, tracing around that way. That way you're getting your, your reverse pattern. And you're just going to keep doing that for the whole, the whole pattern, all these different pieces, making sure that you've got all these wee markings in and just labelling them so you know which parts of the bear are which as you go along. Once we've got all our pattern pieces drawn onto our sheet, what we're going to do is cut them out. At this stage, I don't like to cut them out on the line, um, just in case our fabric moves or whatever when we iron it on. So what I would ask you to do, and what the way I prefer to do it, is to cut roughly five millimetres round the edge of your pieces here. Just keep it nice and rough at this point, and then once it's attached, to our fabric then once that's getting attached to our fabric and ironed on we can trim them both right back and make it, the pieces nice and accurate. Before we start chopping out our fabric I'm just going to talk you through all the different parts to the bear here so you kind of can understand because some of them are a bit confusing. So the head here there's ears, so there's four ear pieces, front and back, front and back. Then you'll have the forehead, which is the strip down here, and the two side heads, which are the bits with the circles for the eyes. You'll have a nose part. I wouldn't worry about that till the end. Sometimes it's easier to use a bit of felt or something rather than an actual bit of fabric, but you can cut it in and prep it if you want. 
the back here we have the back head and side head and side head so that's all your head pieces so you know which bits to cut on the front and back here so you'll have the tummy piece which is long and thin and it runs down all the way underneath the bear and then the same it's joined here and it'll come all the way down and then you've got two pieces for the back they're your largest pieces here the arms are made up of um, the outer arm and the inner arm outer arm and inner arm then you've got the two the two feet pads here and then you'll have an outer leg outer leg inner leg and inner leg so that's all the little parts labeled there for you so you know which bits you're cutting in case you're trying to decide where your fabrics go for your bear and then the next thing we're going to do is get a bit of our fabric cut out and I'll show you how to interface it and cut it and that's us as far as um, your fabric or items of clothing go, if you're using just plain fabric that's not clothes, then that's fine. We can just go ahead. If you are using clothes, what I would do is just get them chopped into flat pieces first. So for example, on this little t-shirt, just going to be cutting the sleeve here and then you can cut up the seam. And then that way you've got a nice big flat piece of fabric there to use and the same obviously just with the, the front of your t-shirt here or whatever it is you're using baby grow shirt just cut it here and we're going to just make sure that we've got a nice piece flat piece here to work with to the side just now so that's easier it's nice and flat there's nothing behind it and we're ready to figure out which parts of our fabrics and patterns we want to use now obviously the gluey side when we attach this interface it on is going to be on the back of the fabric here so if you can see through that to your pattern in front, that's fine. You can lay that on and you're ready to go. If your fabric has a specific kind of logo or something that you want to use, then sometimes what I would do is take my pattern piece and hold it this way. So gluey side up, the side you've written to is going to face the fabric. And then that way you can see through this and make sure that you've got the, you know, the writing or the mark that you want. And then what I would do is just cut that to the same size, roughly as this, then you'll know exactly where that is. If you're not bothered about placement or, you know, not trying to fit in a specific bit, then let's just flip that over, putting the glue side down on our fabric here, and we are ready to get the iron out and interface this. So I will show you that. It's now time to get these pattern pieces stuck down to your fabric. So we are, just a reminder, we're on the wrong side of your fabric here and the glue, shiny side, gluey side of your pattern pieces down on the back there. Make sure that your iron is on a medium heat, medium low. We don't want it up on a high heat or it's just going to melt your interfacing to your iron and that's not easy to get off. Now all interfacings are different, just read your instructions, but generally it'll be a medium heat and you want to turn your iron with a tiny little bit of steam if possible. Um, and just hold it on your pattern piece for about the count of eight and then move it along until the whole thing's stuck. What you'll do when it's cooled is just try and peel it off and if it's stuck you'll know, if not just go back over any bits that aren't stuck. Some interfacing will say to do this with a tea cloth on top so just double check it like I say um, and you're ready to go. So let's go with this one. I normally just do a quick sweep over it just to make sure that my iron's not too hot and that that's sticking and then we're ready so you're just holding the iron on for roughly about the count of eight and then lifting it and moving it to the next section and then along and you're just going to get make sure that that is nice and stuck down and that's you give it a chance to cool and then once that's cooled what you're going to do is grab your scissors and you are going to cut the fabric and the interfacing out right on the line now 
and that way it's going to be nice and neat and ready to sew. So just cutting it right on that line as accurately as you can. You'll see there, and that's us. You'll be ready to bring it to class and sew it together. So once you've got all your pieces cut, interfaced, ready to go, that's it. And we will see you in class and um, ready to make your bears. So looking forward to it. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.